In this tutorial, we're gonna create realistic camera shake in post-production. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So last week we posted a short film called Hope right here on the channel. If you haven't seen it already, be sure to check it out. It's really awesome. But for this project, we wanted to use camera shake to help utilize some of the intense moments in the film. And believe it or not, most of the camera shake came from After Effects. It didn't really all come in just from the camera. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how we can use After Effects to create some really awesome camera shake. And before we jump into the screen recording, I wanna say thank you to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from. And they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system so you can quickly find the best songs for your video. Also, with purchasing a soundtrack for your next project, each song allows you to choose from the full track, loop sets, and even shorter variations of the song to make sure every song fits the duration of your project. So for your next video or motion graphics projects, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com. Here we are inside of After Effects, and here is our shot we'll be adding more camera shake to. This has a little bit of, you know, in-camera camera shake that we did on set, but it's nowhere near enough to make this shot look intense, and whether you have a stable shot or not, this camera shake technique is gonna work exactly the same, so this is what we're gonna wanna do. So to get started, what we'll do is go to Layer, New, Null Object, and we will grab our clip here, and we will parent it to the Null Object. We'll come here to the beginning here. We'll hit P on keyboard for position. Alt click the stopwatch. And we're gonna type in wiggle, open parenthesis, and we're gonna type in two comma 30, close parenthesis. And the first number is how many wiggles you're gonna want per second. And the second number is how intense you want that wiggle to be. And you can change those numbers to be less intense or even more intense. So I'd like to add a little bit more rotation here. So we can hit R on our keyboard for rotation and I'll click the stopwatch and we'll type in wiggle. Open parenthesis 2, comma 2, close parenthesis. You don't want to make that second number so big or it's going to be really crazy. So here's what we have with the rotation, and it definitely adds a little bit more movement to this. So I want to handle those black bars, and a lot of people, what we do is hit S on keyboard for scale and scale up their video. And doing that, you definitely lose details because you're you know scaling in. So what I want to do here is add an effect. So we'll go to Effect, Stylize, and we're going to add Motion Tile. And from here, I'm going to check on mirror edges and I'm going to increase the output height and the output width. And this is going to duplicate frames here. And it's actually very hard to notice unless you're like people are specifically focusing in on the corners of the frame, which they're not usually focusing in on like the centers. So for most clips, this is going to work fantastic. You're not going to even have to scale. But what I suggest doing and what I actually did on this film, I didn't use this technique and I didn't get even more advanced on this. What I did here is I actually downloaded a animation preset of camera shake from Premium Beat for absolutely free. You don't even have to sign up for an account. You go ahead and download this preset pack and you can install it in your animation presets and it'll sit right here in effects and presets and you'll see this PB free camera shake presets and there's a 1080 version and a 4K version. And you open up one of these folders and you're gonna have a variety of options depending on the focal length. These are very nice tailored camera shake options that are very easy to work with and I wanna show you how to apply them. And simply when you have your footage in here is you do the same thing as before, you create a new null object and you select a preset depending on the lens or even just how much camera shake you want. So from here, I'm gonna grab say a 50 millimeter heavy movement camera shake and apply it to the null object. Then I'm gonna parent my footage to the null object just like before. Make sure you do it in this order or it's gonna juxtaposition all over the place. And I can simply just hit U on my keyboard to bring up the keyframe and you can see that I just might need to move over the null object to start at the beginning. And now I'll be able to do a quick RAM preview. We now have this very heavy camera shake. Obviously, if you want to use the wiggle expression, you just have to really increase those numbers, but this is a preset and you have a variety of different options in here. So go ahead and check those links in the video description. You can download them for absolutely free and easily apply them to After Effects. So here's a before and after without our applied camera shake on the sequence and with our applied camera shake. And in my opinion, it made a big difference applying that camera shake. So now you have that ability to do that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every week right here. Also, you can hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creative.